Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. You know, one of the things that I love besides crafting is science. I love science experiments. And so today I've got a kitchen science project for you. What is a kitchen science project, you might ask? What it is is that everything that you need for this experiment can pretty much be found in your ordinary kitchen cabinet. That is, unless your family does not eat sugar, because this, my friends, is candy science at its best. We're going to be testing bases and acids and candy, and we're going to find out what you put in your mouth and your tummy, and it's going to be a really exciting experiment. So, something that's going to make you bubble and brew. So, ready? Stay tuned. It's time for some kitchen science. And for my kitchen science, I've got vinegar, i got baking soda, I have water, I have some lemon juice. I've got salt. I have citric acid. Now this is something you may not have. And if you don't have citric acid, don't get concerned because your handy dandy lemon juice takes that place. I've got sugar. I've got a big tablespoon measuring device. I will need that. I've got some six ounce cups and then I've got some little four ounce cups. Now these little four ounce cups are where I'm going to be doing most of my chemical reactions so that's why I have a whole bunch of them but you could always do one clean it, do one clean it, do one clean it. It's all up to you. I have an assortment of candies here. Some are sours, some are sweets. We're going to be testing both. And then I've got my spoons. Spoons are always important. And here is my little sheet that you will find if you go to www.sophie-world.com and it lists all the things that we're going to be mixing together with our baking soda and water. And it says, did it make bubbles, yes or no? This is a way that you can keep track of the items that you've got and testing them. Now, you'll see, I will make sure that the website version has lots and lots and lots and lots of empty spaces for you to fill in with whatever you want to be testing. First things first, we're going to need to make our baking soda solution. So, what I'm going to do is just move all this stuff off to the side. And one of the super exciting experiments that I remember when I was a kid, like the first, the first real science experiment that I ever did, was mixing baking soda and vinegar. And you get this great reaction. So what I'm going to first do is make my baking soda solution. So what I'm going to do is take two tablespoons of baking soda, and that's all I need. And then I'm going to add water to the top, like six to eight ounces of water here. And I'm just going to stir this up until that baking soda dissolves. Now, believe it or not, you can get away with using less baking soda. You can get away with using one tablespoon. But I always like to make it extra thick just to make sure that I get my good reaction. All right, so I'm going to take the first of my little cups here and I'm going to show you this first reaction that I was talking about when I was a kid. So you take a little bit of your baking soda and water, not much, don't need too much, in fact that's a little bit much. There we go. And I'm going to pour in some pure vinegar, watch what happens. Now this is how you basically make an exploding volcano if you've ever done that in science class. So what's happening? You're getting bubbles. And the question here is, why do you get bubbles? Well, vinegar is an acid, and baking soda and water is a base. So these mixed together are a base. This is an acid. When you mix an acid and a base, you get bubbles. And the bubbles are the reaction, which is actually carbon dioxide. And that's why you get these bubbles. And you can keep adding this, and you keep getting a little bit of bubbles and a little bit of bubbles. This is one of those great first time, woo, isn't that cool, reaction things. All you're mixing is vinegar and baking soda and water. Now here's the thing, if you want to, you can just use baking soda, put a little baking soda in there, pour the vinegar on without the water in it, and you'll get the same reaction. Now, here's where we get to have fun. We're gonna start examining our candy. So on my list here it says baking soda and water mixed with vinegar. Did it bubble? Yes. Next thing we're going to try is a pixie stick. So I'm taking my pixie stick, pouring it in, and we're going to pour in a little bit of this baking soda and water and see what happens. 
Did it bubble? Yes, it did. Now I'm going to try a sour gummy worm. So I've got my little sour gummy worm. I'm just going to need a little piece of it. Ooh. Now you know your scientists are going to love this because they'll get to eat a little bit of the leftovers for sure. So I'm pouring that in there and can you see the bubbles? Now you're not getting such a fizzy reaction of course because this is actually a hard gummy piece of candy but you can see that there are bubbles. So did it bubble? Yes! And now you know I'm going to add to this, I'm going to actually add one of these sour guys. These are those like sour powers, is that thing they're called? Extra sour, they're hard candies, extreme sours they're called. I'm going to place that in there. Oh, and I didn't even have to add any extra. You can see how that is like bubbling like mad. So there you have it. Those are some of my sours. Now I'm going to try some sweets. I'm going to try first and foremost a little bit of chocolate because everybody loves chocolate, right? So I'm going to take my little Hershey's Kiss here and break off a few little pieces. And I'm going to add my vinegar, excuse me, my baking soda and water. Well, now that was very unexciting, huh? Did it bubble? No. So that's my first no. All right, let's try, let's try some of these dots. These are fun. Now, if you've got like a little mortal and pestle or you've got something that you can crush this with, that's always good. But it'll work without crushing it. I'll put a couple in here. Okay, and let's try our baking soda and water. Anything happening? No. So, do the dots make bubbles? No. Let's try some Skittles. Put in my baking soda and water. Now, if you, if you think that it's sinking to the bottom there, you want to stir it up a little bit more, you can. All right, let's add these guys in. And let's see what happens to, oh! Now, this is kind of interesting. As you can see, there are very, very tiny little bubbles starting to form. I don't know if you can see that or not, but they're starting to form on the outer coating of the Skittles. Just tiny little bubbles. Now what might be interesting here is if you have a knife or if you can smash your Skittles up a little bit and then put them in. Let's see what happens if we smash it a little bit. So I'm going to smush it and then place it in and let's see what happens. And definitely there's some little bubbles forming. Now, it's not as crazy as the other ones, but there's definitely a little bit going on. Now this is when you start asking questions. Okay, what do we know that is in candy? Well, we know there's sugar in candy, right? Okay, so maybe it's the sugar that is reacting with the baking soda and water. So let's try that. We're going to take a little baking soda and water here, and we're going to add a little bit of sugar. And let's see what happens. Putting my sugar in, going to stir it up, and no bubbles. Hmm, okay, so it's not the sugar that makes it bubble. Let's try, I know, salt. And stir it up, and no. Hmm, okay, so sugar is a no. Salt is a no. Let's try some citric acid. I know that citric acid makes things bitter, and we know that a lot of these sour candies have citric acid in them. So let's try the citric acid. Well, there's the clear winner. Citric acid, because it's an acid, definitely works to make bubbles. Now let's try one other thing, because when you think of citric, you think of citrus. And when you think of citrus, you think of oranges and lemons. So let's try a little lemon juice and mix that 
with some baking soda and water. Well, and there you have it. Okay, so now that you've got the basic idea, I hope that the wheels in your head are turning. Make sure you check out all different kinds of things that you can find in your cabinet to find out if it's an acid or find out if it's a base. Remember, you now know what the difference is because if it's an acid and you mix it with that baking soda and water, you're gonna get bubbles. That's right. So for more fun ideas that are based in your kitchen and are scientific, Check us out, sophie-world.com.